Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here, and what you are seeing right now is the newly announced Steam mobile app. I've actually got it loaded onto my personal iPhone 4S, but it's also available on Android. Now currently this app is um, available through a closed beta only, so you have to reach out to Valve directly right now to gain access to it, although you can download the app through your uh, app store of choice, it just won't work when you log into it. Uh, fortunately, I did get closed beta access and I'm about to guide you through it right now. So uh, let's take a look at my uh, profile. So as you can tell, I can take a look at my profile here and it's all it's got all the basic information. Um, you know, what I've been playing recently, some Skyrim and trying to, and um, some of my friends that are online right now. It's got all that basic profile functionality as well as my incredibly stupid personal profile picture. Um, and as you can tell, it's got your friends list and if I uh, tap this chat icon right here, I can uh, send a, uh, a chat message to Chris Waters. Unfortunately, chat appears to be offline at the moment, but if it was online, I could just totally bother Chris while he's working and uh, send him a nice message uh, if it was working. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, so yeah, you can see which friends are online, send them messages and that sort of thing. It's got uh, group functionality right there. I don't actually belong to any groups myself. Um, it's also got uh, your friend activity as well. And um, the cool thing about this is that it's got the entire Steam storefront on it, which is pretty awesome if you hear about some crazy new Steam special and you want to buy, buy the game, but you don't have access to your computer. So it's got the normal uh, sort of Steam front page top slot so you can see the big promoted games. Uh, it's, it's got all these games right here and you can sort by, um, you know, featured, new, popular, specials, that sort of thing. Um, I tested this out myself. I just downloaded Dust Force um, and it, it's got the entire store interface. I entered my credit card information through the Steam app and, um, and uh, the, the sale finalized on my phone and the game was added to my library so that when I go onto my PC, I've got access to Dust Force and I can download it from there. So unfortunately, it does not automatically queue up the download remotely onto your PC, but it will add it to your library, which is nice. Now, um, some of the other features on here is uh, you can you can uh, check out your wish list, you can uh, search for games, and it's also got news feeds. Unfortunately, since this is still in the beta phase right now, um, you can't, th there's still some bugs going on at the moment, so if I wanted to read some Rock, Paper, Shotgun right now, I, I'm right, you can't tell, but I'm trying to click on the title of this article and it won't let me read it, so it's only headlines for the moment. Uh, it's in beta right now, so hopefully they'll get that fixed. But, uh, but yeah, that's your uh, quick run through the Steam mobile app. So again, it's got the community functionality, friends, chat, that sort of thing. It's got the storefront. You can actually uh, check out what's on sale and buy it through your mobile app so that you don't miss those crazy sales. And uh, you've got the, uh, the news feeds as well. Um, so yeah, that's it, the Steam mobile app on, uh, on iPhone and Android devices. It's in closed beta right now. And uh, knowing Valve, it will be um, open to the public when it's ready and they probably won't let us know anytime soon. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching.